New tonight, a Post Falls teenager could spend the next 10 years in prison for dealing fentanyl pills at school, which caused a student to overdose and nearly die last June. Crime 2's Kyle Simchuk is looking into the case tonight. Well, and this had a lot of parents concerned that these pills made their way into Post Falls High School. That student who overdosed survived. Now the 17 year old who handed out the pills is facing serious prison time. On June 2nd of this year, police and paramedics raced to Post Falls High School. They found a student in the school's weight room unconscious and barely breathing, showing signs of an opioid overdose. That student was revived after two doses of Narcan, and police determined the pills came from another student, 17-year-old Randy Martin, who was found to be in possession of suspected fentanyl pills, which he brought to school. Krem 2 spoke to the Post Falls superintendent last June. We have never had a situation like this happen in, in the school. And I was the high school principal for 10 years before I came to the central office. So Is it's very, the, very scary. The 17 year old was arrested and later convicted of delivery of a controlled substance on school grounds. It's a felony and in Idaho carries a maximum sentence of life in prison. District Judge John Mitchell sentenced the teen to 10 years in prison, but also retained jurisdiction which means that Martin could spend up to one year in a prison-based treatment program before returning to court, where a judge will decide if he should be placed on probation or serve the remainder of his sentence. And again, that teen who overdosed survived. The Kootenai County Prosecutor's Office says it has seen a rise in fentanyl-related cases over the last year. Mark.